Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to this YouTube channel and as I promised you, I'm going to show you a little bit of Kerala vlog styles that you requested in the comments. So we are on a boat right now. It's actually celebrating Neetu's birthday and Neetu is just on that side. But she doesn't want to be on camera today. So I'm just going to show you around guys this kind of boats that you get in Kerala. 1000 rupees for two hours. If you are white, you have to pay 600 rupees extra. They charge you a premium if you if you don't ask them in advance and you show up with some friend who is skin color is like mine, you'll be charged a little bit extra. And even if you're Punjabi, you might be charged a little bit more. Only Carolites get a, a, a fair price. Everyone else gets a, a skin surcharge. And anyways, guys, I want to show you a little bit more around here. It's actually pretty nice here. I wouldn't want to be swimming in this water. But the nature, like look at those coconuts. Do you see that on those on the tree over there? I don't know if you can see those ones. And there's so many boats, people are partying. It's, it's a really good vacation for your family to come here. And in fact, a lot of hotels here, they operate based on the requirement that you, you get a boat ride like that. Is this called backwaters or something? Yes, I love it. Alipi, but backwaters, yeah? So guys, we are in Alipi. See, there is love couples behind us. So basically, guys, this is a like a Venus? Venice. Venice. Okay, Venice of India. So if you want to have some romantic times and everything uh, with your partner or, or family, it would be very good. Place to visit. Look at those boats, guys. You can literally load your entire family here for 1,000 rupees only. Look at this, looking pretty nice there. See, there is a boat over there. It's hardly 20 dollars. It's like 20 dollars, guys. So it's definitely worth 40 hours of your travel to get to India. What do you mean? Look at this. Spider? Where is the spider? Oh no! Oh no! It's not there, it's gone. There is no spider inside your mouth. Give me five. Okay, guys, let's go to the Truvilla. I'm going to show you some places there that we visited. It's pretty interesting. India is a very beautiful country. So let's head out there. Today we are exploring some not tourist places, local places that tourists don't go to here in South India in Kerala. And I actually wanted to show you a really cool boat I found here next to a temple. We were just going by and we met an elephant there. So, guys, you see this boat? In the summer, look at this. This is some Viking style boat. I don't know if you watch the movie Vikings, but it seriously looks a little bit like one of those long boats that Viking used. You know? I have no idea what that means. But they, use, they do the boat competitions in a, in a racing in the summer. That's what I was told. I want to show you guys. My wife is there and her dad is there. And Adriel, my kid, is also over there. But you know what's the funniest part about Kerala? Is an Indian in general, to me, which is a little bit strange compared to Canada, is that everyone, even people you don't know, everyone behaves like you know them so you can get engaged into a conversation with anyone you can literally get engaged into a conversation with anyone like this you see there's some random guy sitting and they started the conversation 15 minutes ago and they're just engaged and i asked if they knew each other and they don't i just want to show you the view guys I just want to show you the view in this area how it looks like and today I'm just recording this thing by handheld stuff. There is a coconut tree. Look at the nature, guys. You know, there's a billion people population. Lots of pollution, but the nature still prevails. Look at this, Adriel. Say hi. Hi. Say, how are you? Hi. See, guys. I think the person is fishing there. And I'm going to show you a little bit over here. Look at this. 
There's actually a bridge over there. <laughs> oh no, Adrian! So, kid is having lots of fun. I'm going to also go and show you where the elephant is. We're going to be on our, on our way back and I'm going to record him. So there is a Hindu temple and they worship elephant as Ganesh, as a god. And it's quite interesting to see all of this. Yet, the elephant is on chain and really chained up. Uh, I didn't come close to the elephant, but it's such a smart creature. Such a big and smart animal. Actually, a little bit painful to see it on a, such a short chain. But I freaked out first when I saw it because I'm going to show it to you in a moment. There is a guy sleeping over there. I don't know if you can see it from here, but I think he had some good time. I wouldn't sleep here because there are snakes, there are spiders, there is all sorts of things crawling here. I would not sleep here for sure. Look at the sun, look at how beautiful it is. I can imagine these guys from Kerala uh, dreaming to, from India, dreaming to immigrate to Canada. And look at this. Look at this nature. I know some people, they want to, they want to die to go to heaven. This is heaven, if you take care of it, to me. That is it. Where? monkey? He's searching for monkeys. So my kid is searching for monkeys. Let's go explore some more areas here. So if you touch one of these things, like this, see? It goes like that. <laughs> hey, these guys are going somewhere where I don't feel like going. I'm going to run through this nonsense before somebody bites me. Guys, I don't know where Nito is taking me, my wife, but we are going through some dangerous jungles. So, hopefully, there is nothing hiding in these bushes here. Where is this woman taking me? Okay, let's go. I'm wearing my professional crocs that I have purchased in India. <laughs> the short story, guys, of my buying my professional crocs here is that <clears throat> only one shop, only one shop had size 12 shoes. So, looks like the biggest foot size in India is, most people have, is size 11. We found the cocoa tree. So, it's basically how you get the chocolate. This is the cocoa food. Look at this. Oh, there, there, I found it. I found it growing over there. Come, come. So these are... This all chocolate, it has become ripe. Mm -hmm. So are those ripe? No, no, these are all raw. They become red in color, reddish. Reddish, yeah? Yeah. Maybe we can eat one. No, no, nothing, nothing, it's all raw. But there is one over there, something. Check this out. This is, if you like tamarind chutney, yeah. in Canada, I found the tamarind tree over here. Uh, that's Nito, that's my father-in-law, Mr. Varki, and that's Adriel. I finally found out how bananas grow. I might be ignorant or something, but I'm not from a tropical country, so... But that is how they grow bananas! I'm just surprised there is food path over here, but it's all uncleaned. It's like... There's so many people in Kerala exercising, working out, walking on the roads where the cars are. But this is way better place to be. Like all oh, this footpath. If it was, there is even nice stones and everything is done. If this was all cleaned up, you can exercise here and you don't have to risk your life going in between of the cars and everything, you know, where they can just run you over at any moment of your life. So. Uh, I find it difficult to walk around because there is no footpath anywhere. But if you get all this cleaned up, there is a footpath over here. I think if I moved here, I would get a lawnmower and I would just do it myself for free. Yummy! It, it's about to be ripe. I feel it's about to be ready to be eaten. This is so cool. Guys, I mean, look at this leaves there. What is this bug? What is this thing? Looks like a scorpion or something. I don't know what that is, but I'm not touching it. 
hope there's nothing crawling on top of me. But you know, all of this wilderness and everything, and then you get a free motorcycle waiting for you. Somebody left it here. <laughs> it's a beautiful country. What else can I say? Look at this. That guy is sprinkling water on the guy who is sleeping. So guys, if you ever fall asleep in Carolina Street, some guy is going to come with the bottle of water and sprinkle water on your face and you're going to wake up just like the guy behind me. <laughs> but it's better not to fall asleep because there's too many things crawling around, centipedes and other things, so I wouldn't do that. I'm looking over there, there is nothing, and then I walk out and there's a freaking elephant. Look at this guy. Let's get closer. <laughs> you know. <laughs> so that's the one that I was told that it's uh, for religious purposes. He's there. But look, he's ho uh, holding his trunk up. I think he's hungry. See, that's my family over there. Let's wave to him. Hello, elephant. Hey, yeah. Jill. See, he's saying he wants me to shake a no. Yeah, no, he wants you to give him a bunch of banana, he'll put it in his mouth. Mama. Mm. Mama, Guys, check this out. So, you know, you're walking like that. Like, if you're new to the area and then you see this guy, I freaked out a little bit. But then I was told that he's actually chained up. See, there is a chain over there. And here's one more there. Adriel, don't scream on that elephant. He's older than you. Or she's... Is this a guy or a girl? No, no, no. It's a girl. How do you know, guys? Because a boy will have horns. Ah! Uh -huh. Guys, actually he looks bigger in real life than it looks on my camera right now. Need to keep her distance. Okay, let's go, Adrian. Let's go. Nice. I feel we need to look in at this kind of scriptures over there. Guys, I feel like I am in the Mowgli cartoon. You know? But you know what, what I liked about that cartoon was one of my favorite cartoons she as a child. And then I found myself an Indian girl. Go somewhere inside there and you'll find the uh, ferrets. What is ferrets? Mongoose. Mongoose? But look at this, I like this one. This is like a religious thing, yeah? See, there's an elephant inside, or what is that? Burning incense, I can smell no, there is a, like a... See, there is like some kind of Parvati sitting inside. And most interesting part about this entire jungle-like situation is... It's not really a jungle. There are people living everywhere over here. You see? That's just the way it is. So this kind of propaganda machines are driving around Kerala, guys. That's what I wanted to show you. One of the big industries here in Kerala is actually this rubber plantations. I see them everywhere. It's pretty interesting. See all of these things, guys. Guys, these are chickens eating cow dump. And then you eat chickens. Tomorrow they will be in Walmart. So guys, in India, over here, they transport logs at night because they are all illegally chopped. Guys, we are climbing up the mountain and I just found something very interesting. I never seen how jackfruits grow. Check this out. 
Look at this thing. Imagine it falls on your head. Whoo! I should be careful here, they are pretty big ones. So we are climbing one of the mountains here, which is not a big mountain or anything, but I just found it on Google Maps. We need to, and we are exploring these places. It's in Turvile, right, Nito? So we are in Turvile. And it's also a good way to lose weight. Chenonu? There is Nito, Adriel, and grandfather. And we are on holy pilgrimage. <laughs> it looks like some Hindu temple, yeah? Or something. Look at those things, Nito, they make. Look at this. Best part about this place is, guys, is to check this out. There is no tourists here. It's like exploring, exploring tourist places that has no tourists. I made it all the way up to the viewpoint that I wanted to visit. And just on this very top is when I realized that I'm wearing some flip-flops and I just also realized I'm a little bit scared of heights again. I don't like heights, I hate heights. But this is where I am, on the top of Kerala. Look at that building over there. Nice. I don't want to come close to that edge because I'm wearing flip flops. My legs are sweating because it's so hot. I don't have my sneakers on. And I still have to figure out a way to get down over there. I mean, I don't know if it looks uh, high on a camera or not, but I'll have to go side. Uh, I have to go reverse there. And anyways, we made it on the very top of Kerala. And I didn't even take my drone today. How do you get down from the <laughs> too? Oh no. Look at my old terrain crocs. Should go reverse? Huh? Or forward? Ah, okay, I'm going to stop recording because I need both hands in case I start sliding on my kundi. I think I finally figured out the way to get down. For me, this pipe is going to be my way down. <laughs> Which I should have been smart enough to use it on my way up too, but... Yeah, nice. As long as there is no snakes or anything. We are almost fine. We are almost fine. <laughs> <laughs> my legs are sweaty. Legs are slipping out of my slippers. And that is dangerous. Look at this, guys. Which way did I come from? Which way the pipe? Ah, okay. Hello. Hey, Adriel, how do you find this place? Hello. Let's go and find mommy. Where is mommy? Go show me mommy. Slowly, go slowly on those stones. Slowly. Slowly, hold hands. Mm -hmm. Be careful. The best part about the city is that on one side you have cottage houses and everything on the other side check this out you have a house that has chickens looks tasty to me and there is a poor animal here that i can see cat doesn't even care about the flies probably doesn't feel good sick. sick yeah there is some sick cat on the road but you know guys in this city what I noticed is every chunk of land belongs to someone and the smaller chunk belongs to the government so it's a it's every yeah everything is someone's there is no, no unclaimed territory here everything is somebody's property you see you can just stop anywhere on the street and talk to anyone in a such a manner as if you know them and they behave as if they know you 
and I think it's pretty cool. I mean, it's really nice that you can ask for directions like that and everything. I think in Canada, people are more closed and cold than that way. Here, it's like you go, it's like relatives everywhere, you know? Guys, today we are at Kony National, what is it? Reserve or something? Ecotourism. Kony Eco Ecotourism. It's here in Kerala, not too far away from Turvila. But anyways, pretty interesting place. Tickets are only 500 rupees. What is 500 rupees in dollars? Less than 10 dollars. 100 rupees including parking. 100 rupees? 100 rupees. I read on the website it was 500 years old. Oh guys, 100 rupees. Yeah, so we are going to go inside now. Everywhere you go in India, you can actually, like they ask you to remove the slippers. If you go indoors, but that's why I'm not going to go inside, I'm just going to go from outside. And that's like a museum here. That's Adriel and Nito walking there. Nice places. Pretty interesting. There's actually live elephants on that side, if you can see them over there. Put, put your slippers on, put your shoes on. What is it, Adrian? What is it? Jeez. We have some elephants over there. We are in Kerala on top of the lighthouse and I mean, you know, with me not really liking heights, I can still say that it's a very beautiful place over here. Let me show you the views. Guys, let me know in the comments down below which more places in India would you like to see because I'm here for another one or two months still. We haven't decided yet how long we are going to stay. But let me know in the comments down below which parts of India you're interested in seeing and other things on, on this channel what you want me to make videos about. And don't forget to follow if you're new to this channel. I mean, subscribe and click that bell. We'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.